demons and demonic entities in the warp are formed from coalesced emotions and drives of mortal creatures. Uh, we understand the greater gods of chaos to be formed from some of those primal mortal emotions, and Vashtor has been formed from the desire to create and manipulate and invent, to make things that didn't already exist. Vashtor wants to become a god. Vashtor is already considered a demigod, an independent demon within the realm of chaos. He is the arms dealer, the weapons broker of the great game that takes place between the chaos gods. So he's independent, he is too vital and valuable to any of them to risk attacking, but he wants more. So in the Vashtor miniature, we see an expression of chaos that we don't really see in the demons of the greater chaos gods. He is a demon of the forge of souls, a demon of machinery, of invention, and everything that we've associated with the obliterators, demon engines, that flesh metal fusion of the technological and the organic you can see in Vashtor. When he assumes a physical form like demons do to enter the material universe, Vashtor makes a form from machine parts and sacrificial meat, and that is what you see represented in the Vashtor miniature. We see Vashtors armed with a hammer, which is the hammer of the Forge of Souls. And a hammer is a tool that can make things, it can destroy things. But that's different to what we've seen on demon princes. Vashtor's not a demon prince. He's not been elevated from the ranks of mortals uh, to become a champion of one of the Chaos Gods. He is his own creation. And the fact that he's got that unique armament, I think, speaks to something of his character. Vashtor is a demon of the forge. He's borne aloft on a cloud of pollutant smoke and steam. He emanates foundry heat uh, and crackling electric discharge. The wings are not really for show, but they're not carrying him aloft in the manner of a bird. Uh, they're probably fine tools for precise mechanical engineering as much as they are actually wings. They're a symbol of his status and a sign of his ambition to become something greater than he might already be. So Vashtor has formed an alliance with Abaddon. Abaddon has huge temporal power, mortal power in the material universe. Vashtor has significant power within the realm of chaos, and together they can forge something that will allow Vashtor to pursue his goals of becoming a god, and allow Abaddon to pursue his ambitions of securing his dominion of the Imperium Nihilus.